Hi, this is question six from the trigonometry assessment for core three. A uh, fairly common uh, question for the core three papers is it re expressing a sum or a difference of sines and cos's in this form here. So that's what we're going to have to start off with first. Um, to do that, always start by expanding the form that they want you to write it in. So using a compound angle formulae this expands to r cos x cos alpha minus r sin x sin alpha. Now if we compare what we've created here to what we're aiming for, so you'll see here we've got a cos x and a sin x and similarly we've got a cos x and a sin x, but whereas we've got a 5 multiply by the cos x here, we've got an r and a cos alpha. Similarly, we've got a 3 being multiplied by the sin x, and here we've got an r and a sin alpha. So, if that's going to be rewritten in that form, then 5 must be equal to r times cos alpha, and 3 must be equal to r times sin alpha. Now that allows us to do two things, but allows us to find both r and alpha. Uh, if we start by finding alpha, um, what we can do is do the right-hand equation divided by the left-hand equation. And the reason we do that is that we end up getting sine divided by cos, which is tan and the R's cancel. So you end up with tan alpha is equal to 3 over 5. And that means that alpha comes out to be in radians at 0 0.50, uh, sorry, 540419 and so on. Um, it asks for alpha into two decimal places so we just need 0 0.54. Um, if we're going to find r what we can do is square the blue um, equation so we end up with 25 equals uh, r squared cos squared alpha and 9 equals r squared sine squared alpha. If we then add those two together, so we end up with 25 plus 9 is equal to r squared cos squared alpha plus r squared sine squared alpha. So that's 34. And then if you factorise the r squared out, you end up with cos squared alpha plus sine squared alpha, which is 1. So actually r squared is 34, so r ends up being the square root of 34. So what we're actually able to do is go back to the beginning and say, right, well, it must mean that 5 cos x minus 3 sine x, 5 cos x minus 3 sin x can be written in the form r, which is square root of 34, uh, cos x plus alpha, which is 0 0.54. And that's what's required for part a. Uh, hence or otherwise, meaning use part a, that would be the quickest way to do it, you can solve that equation equal to 4. So actually what we can look at for part B is that this, our new expression, is equal to 4. And if we do a little bit of rearranging and uh, dividing both sides by root 34 and then doing arc cos Of that value of 
4 over root 34 it turns out that um, x turns out to be 0 0.2744 and um, the other solution to that is because we're looking at cos and cos is symmetrical so if we've got a solution down here then there's a symmetrical solution up here and all we need to do is take away our solution from 2 pi uh, and that gives us 5.468358 um, and to two decimal places we end up with 0 0.27 and 5.47 the key bit to this question is understanding how you get your r cos alpha and your r sine alpha by comparing the expansion of this with what you're given at the start and hopefully the rest seems to make some sense best of luck